and right after this truck we got a speed bump. Uh, full speed. <sighs> hey, we got to drive across town. Why don't you guys come with me? Full self-driving, hardware 4, 11.4.4. Right off the bat, we've got some speed bumps. Last time I went over these, it did not do that great. Let's see if it slows down today. Here we got one. Uh, braked at the last second. Let's see, we got a second one coming up here. Shadows on the street. Nice fall day. Leaves are changing. Uh, doesn't slow at all. I mean, if these were really big speed bumps, this would not even be possible. These are the things that Beta has just got to get better with. That slowed nicely. Really nice. That speed bump was illuminated in the sun. Slowed really, really nicely for that one. We got another one coming up here. No braking at all on that one. Another one coming up here. Great way to start a video, guys. Speed bumps. This is a big one. Does it see it? Nope. Doesn't slow at all. Interestingly, it kind of brakes after you go over the speed bump. Uh, we got a truck on the right side of the road here. It sees that, thankfully. And right after this truck, we got a speed bump. Uh, full speed. You know, Beta just is not picking up those speed bumps. We've got some more right here. I mean, to be fair, these are not the biggest speed bumps in the world, but a human driver would slow down for them. We've got another one coming up here, bright sunlight, full speed into the speed bump. How about you get over to the right side of the road, Beta? We got cars. All right, thank you. Another speed bump. Slowed for that one a little bit. It's weird how it slows for some of them, but not the others. They look pretty similar. Uh, Got to get better with that beta. Another speed bump. Full speed into it. Let's see if it stays right here appropriately. It does. Uh, so you guys heard the cyber... Oh, whoa, hold on. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Doesn't slow down. At least it's not hitting these cars. What a start to this ride. Another speed bump. Slowed for that one. Okay. Is that the last one? Please? Um, yeah, so you guys heard the Cybertruck news on the quarter three call with Elon. Some interesting thoughts I had. Obviously, he was pretty pessimistic about... Well, I wouldn't say pessimistic, but he was trying to caution people's expectations. We've got a pedestrian on the left here. Does it pick her up? It does. Stops. Good. I think she sees that I'm... Hello. <laughs> sees the camera. All right. We've got a little bit of a difficult intersection here. It's one of these divided streets. Um, Beta's been doing better with these. It's creeping out. We've got cars on the left. It sees them and stops. Should be clear after these two cars. Goes ahead nicely. Good job there. Um, yeah, Elon was pessimistic. Not pessimistic. Elon was trying to temper people's expectations about Cybertruck. Uh, I think it's because either, number one, they're going to have to charge a high price point on each truck and he's worried that people are going to be shocked with the with the price point that they that they release or um, they're going to be losing money on every cyber truck and he just wants to caution investors not to be shocked that that, that they're going to be losing money on cyber truck I don't know which one it's going to be um, I do think it's going to be a high price point they're, they're going to lose money each each truck they make, uh, but it's important that they that they start to dominate the market in that area. We've got a lot of cars here. I'm trying to kind of pay attention, make sure that we are staying safe. So far, so good. Four o'clock, I think school's getting out. Um, so I've been doing a lot of shorts, 
and it's interesting because with the shorts, I really am trying to push the limit and find places that that make beta fall apart and it can be kind of nerve wracking. Like the other day, I just turned it on in a parking lot and the speed limit was set to 40 because when I entered the parking lot, that was what the road was, it was 40 miles an hour. So I come into the parking lot, I park and I say, well, what's gonna happen if I just turn on full self-driving now and put in a different destination? And it just zooms out of the, just, just like pedal to the metal, accelerating out of the parking lot. Um, safe I mean didn't hit anything it was kind of jerking back and forth a few spots um, so it gets out of the parking lot I mean it succeeds but it went way faster than I would have and afterwards I'm reviewing the video and I see that it say it thinks that the speed limits 40 miles an hour when I turned on full self-driving um, so yeah that's an issue I guess you can't really reset that I mean, those speed, you, you can obviously set the speed limit down. I could have turned on full self-driving and then cranked the max speed limit down to 20 or something. Um, but you can't reset what the what it thinks the speed limit is for the road. Right now it's 35. It's getting that from the, from the street signs. Um, so I've been pushing the limits in the shore. It's certainly nerve-wracking. And then I come out for one of these long drives and... A lot of times it's actually really relaxing. I mean, I give beta a hard time when I'm pushing it to the limits in certain places, but there's a lot of really good drives that you can get out of beta. Um, and for those of you that, if this is your first time watching my videos, you know that I think all of this beta testing is gonna mean nothing once version 12 comes out because we're gonna move to an entirely new platform. So this is fun, this is interesting, and I don't know if they're gonna use beta once they moved version 12 for something else, but version 12 is such a different platform that I'm not even sure how much any of this really matters in the long run. Uh, Tesla's taking a gamble on, on full end-to-end -end neural networks with version 12. But in the meantime, they still have beta out to all these vehicles and they're gathering millions and millions of miles of data and we're part of that we're happy to be part of that and we're going to continue to be part of that but i've had some great drives on on beta really impressive how far it's come we're on hardware 4 here we have no radar all camera based and i've seen some really really impressive things you should go and check out the video i did about uh, the short i did about navigating a construction zone i think it got 650,000 views on TikTok, and it's really impressive when you think about what it's able to do in a in a scenario that it's never seen before it can't possibly be programmed for specifically and handles it really really well so all right didn't know we had a little construction up here i always do like when we have that okay so we've got a detour it's gonna make us go left up here. Let's see what happens. Um, I want to be going straight. I think when I plugged in the map, it had us going straight. Uh, so we'll see what happens. It says detour to the left. I do see cars going past, so I'm wondering, I'm wondering if if there's through traffic or not. But let's find out. So yeah, thank you everybody that's subscribed. We're growing every day. Really appreciate the support. I've been learning a lot about what you guys like to see and what you don't. I'm happy to bring you along for the ride. Love in the comments too, keep them coming. I love them. I read every comment. All right, green light, reaction time better than a human. All right, here we go. We've got a lot of cones in the street. Giant sign saying, Dolan Place, use Abbey, left. I'm pretty sure Beta just ignores a sign like that. It does pick up the cones. It's having us go just through the cones. This is not that difficult of a construction zone to navigate. Um, did it perfectly fine. Nice sunny day out today. Leaves are changing here in the Midwest. Looking forward to getting some snow 
and seeing how this how this beta does in the snowfall. So we're going at 35 miles an hour here. There's a car behind me. I'm gonna just increase the max to 40, which I've learned you can do. You can break the law. You can tell beta to break the law. And yeah, so now we're going 40 and a 35. What a human would do. And we're still running beta. Apply slight force to steering wheel. Thank you so much to the subscriber that informed me that all I had to do was flick the volume button instead of jerking the wheel, which I was doing at the beginning. So much better just to uh, do the volume control. As we come up to this intersection, I think we're going straight here. Have been testing it with a lot of busy intersections. I wanted to the other day take it out when we had a football game with thousands of people in the street i know what's going to happen if i try to run it through a crowd of a thousand not run it through a crowd but if i try to drive through a street where there's a lot of pedestrians it'll freeze and it'll just stop i'm not sure it would make for a great video um i've i've gone through downtown where there's a lot of pedestrians and even if people are just stepping off of the curb it's super cautious way more cautious than a human would be uh, it's really hard hard design to uh, to not make any contact with any person vector that, that the computer picks up and it's really really cautious so I'm pretty sure a crowd of people that are kind of walking all over the street um, where cars are allowed to be driving would just freeze it up but we'll see I do want to test it where I do want to push it to the limits um, but I think a football game with thousands of people on the street might be a little too much for it. I don't know. Let me know, let me know what you think. I love these sunny days. Beautiful sunny day for a full self-driving ride. We are in a Model Y long range. I love this vehicle. I did make a video called Five Things I Hate About My Tesla Model Y might have been a little clickbaity. They are things that annoy me, but there's a lot of things I love about this car. That's a Perrier I'm drinking, just so everybody knows. It's not a Heineken. Someday, though, we'll be able to be in the back seat drinking a Heineken while our robots drive us around. That day is coming, and it's coming faster than I think anybody realizes. And I have noticed in the comments section, there's so many haters to EVs and to full self-driving, and I, it's strange. They're emotionally objecting to, to what, what's clearly happening, and I don't know why they're so against it. Why don't you just just learn to drive and drive yourself I know how to drive just drive yourself yeah I, I know how to drive myself but I'm talking about the future I'm talking about sitting in the back seat drinking a Heineken and letting the robots do the driving I don't know why that's such a bad future I think if you give people the choice whether to drive themselves or to be driven around, they'll choose to be driven around. I certainly think that's true of the younger generation. And I don't know what that'll look like exactly. Maybe you have to have designated roads for, for people who want to drive themselves. Or you know what? Go to the racetrack if you want to drive yourself. Leave the public roads to the robots. It's coming, guys. I am sorry, but it's coming. We're so, we've are so we made so much progress in these last few years that there's no turning back. I see just, I see vehicle ownership going away. I see masses of robot vehicles just driving on the public streets. And you need to get in a vehicle, you just hail it just like you'd hail an Uber. And one of the driverless robo taxis just stops, picks you up, you tell it where you want to go, it takes you there, you can take a nap, you can do work, you can watch 
Netflix, you can do whatever you want, but you don't have to sit and pay attention in the seat like you do now. It's a waste of time, it's not efficient. And if you get the accident rate on par with airline travel, if you tell people robo-taxis are as safe as airline travel, it'll be accepted. Right now we accept a lot of death and injury from human drivers and people in order to accept robots driving us around, they're gonna demand that it be nearly perfect and as it should be, that's okay to demand that. Um, I think Elon always talks about being 10 times safer than human driving. I think it'll be more than that. But if you can, if you can offer a product to some that's 10 times safer than what's out on the road right now it's that's just the way that it's going to go and it's the way it should go it'll save a lot of lives so here we go we've been driving for 10, 10 minutes or so zero takeovers all camera based we're arriving at our destination no radars this is all just optical camera visual in, steering, acceleration, brake out, incredible. So thanks for coming along for the ride. Appreciate you guys that have subscribed. We got a lot more coming, so uh, stay tuned. All right, take care guys, see you next time.